next day, the Serb leadership issues an order that makes O'Grady's situation even worse. We received the order that the army should stop searching for the pilot. So we wouldn't be considered guilty of his murder when he was captured by the paramilitaries. The hunt for the downed pilot is left to the Serbian police, the paramilitaries, and anyone with a gun. Although the terrain was under our control, there were many other groups circulating around. Criminals operating outside the sphere of the state's institutions, and absolutely everyone had weapons. O'Grady hasn't eaten since he left the base in Italy, two days ago. He left his food rations back at the landing site. Now he faces a new threat, hunger. I really didn't start to feel, you know, hungry till after two days on the ground. There are no wild berries or fruit. In survival training, he ate leaves. He runs through the edibility test. Rub the plant on the outside of your lip, then on the inside. Then hold it in your mouth for five minutes, then swallow. At the first unpleasant symptom, send it back. He suffers no ill effects, so he tries some more. They were just very dry and very bitter, and uh, the grass uh, was very coarse with fiber. He cannot survive on leaves and grass alone, and digestion uses up water. He's down to his last three packs. He knows he's running out of time. I was dehydrated through the survival situation of consistently being awake, never slept at night, took a 20 minute nap during the daylight hours. My heart's racing like I'm running a marathon. Your body's exhorting a greater amount of energy when you're, you're cold and you're wet and you're shivering, trying to stay warm. That night, O'Grady finally reaches a hill. To get to the top, he must move across open ground, making himself an easy target but he can't wait any longer. He has no choice but to take the risk. On the fourth day of combing the area, the Serbs think they've picked up O'Grady's trail. We came across numerous signs in the woods, which indicated to us the presence of someone who was not from our own forces. Suddenly, O'Grady is awoken by a sharp noise. A farmer taking his cows to a new pasture. The smallest movement could frighten the animal and make the farmer curious. If I was exposed by the cow's handler, he'd be able to tell people that would then want to come and get me. Three hundred and seventy kilometers away, pilots at the Aviano base are not sure if El Grady is alive. There is always that doubt, but we would not accept that. As far as brothers in arms, fighter pilots, we're going to go out and find him. We're going to bring him home, uh, or we're going to do everything we can to do that. His chances are pretty damn slim. We probably would have heard something by now. Everything tells us he's either dead or they got him, but we got to keep looking. 